In this video, I'm gonna show you how to produce a screen recording on your Mac computer with audio. We're gonna do this using built-in screen recording capture software that is available on OS X and also a free extension called Black Hole Audio. And I'll leave a link to where you can download it for free in the description box below. There are two ways to initiate a screen recording on a Mac. The first and the easiest is to hold down the Shift, Command and five keys together. This will bring up the screen capture utility, which lets you take a static image screen capture or video capture. The three icons on the left in the menu bar at the base of the screen are for stills, and the next two let you record the whole screen or a portion of the screen as a video. To record the screen, simply click on the record icon on the right hand side. You can also initiate a screen recording directly from the QuickTime player. To do that, open up QuickTime player, click on the new screen recording, and you can start recording that way. When it comes to recording the audio along with the video of your screen, you can use the drop down option below and select to record using the internal microphone of your Mac. This will record the audio coming in from the Mac, but you'll notice it will sound pretty bad as it's a recording of what's going on the screen coming out of your speakers, then back into your microphone. And as such, it will include all of the room noise and echo, and it's just not gonna sound great. This is where the third party app Black Hole comes into play. So let's get started and install it first and set it up. To do that, we'll head over to the Existential Audio website. I'll leave a link to the website in the description box below. It is a free app, but to get access to it, you will be required to enter your email address first name and surname. And once you do that, click on the download link and then click on the DNG file to install the program to your computer. The next step is to open up audio MIDI setup on your Mac. If you can't find it, tap on the command and space bar together and type in the words audio MIDI. If you've installed the black hole software, you should see it appear in the column on the left hand side. The first step is to create an aggregate device that we'll be calling up in our screen recording software, whether it's the screen capture utility or QuickTime. And to do this, we'll tap on the plus button icon on the bottom left of the screen. Let's rename this aggregate device and call it QuickTime Player Input. In the column on the right, we'll click on Black Hole 16 channel. If you just wanna record the internal sound, then that's all you need to do. But if you wanna record your own voice, you can select built-in microphone, or if you have a microphone connected to your computer, you can go ahead and choose that. For example, I've got the Boya BYPM7000 USB microphone, along with the Black Hole 16 channel option, it will record both the internal audio that is playing on the screen, as well as the spoken word in the microphone. If I just wanna record the internal audio of the screen, I'll just select Black Hole 16 channel, and leave everything else unchecked. Next up, we need to create another output in the audio MIDI setup software. This is going to be used in our system settings later on. To do this, simply click on the plus button icon on the bottom left-hand corner of the audio MIDI setup app. And this time, we're going to create a multi-output device. Let's call this screen recording plus audio. We'll then choose black hole 16 channel and built-in output. We've now set up the input and output for our screen recording, and we're almost ready to go. All we need to do now is to change the audio output in the system preferences. Click on the Apple icon on the left in the top menu, click on system preferences, click on sound, click on output, then click on the screen recording and audio aggregate device that we just created. Now you're ready to initiate your screen recording open up the QuickTime Player app, or if you're going to be using the built-in screen capture app, click on Command, Shift, and Five together. Before you click on the record option to start your screen recording, let's make sure it's set to record audio. In the menu bar that appears on the bottom of the screen, click on Options, and then in the drop-down, select QuickTime Player Input. So as you can see, we have used both the aggregate devices we created in the audio MIDI setup utility app previously. 
and we're now ready to start our screen recording with audio. So now when we click on record, we should be able to hear the audio on our Mac and it should be recorded along with the video. Once you've completed your screen recording, you can tap on the record icon on the top of the screen and now you can save your file down and play back the recording to test it. You should hear the audio in high quality playing along with your recording. Once you've completed your screen recording, you're best off going back into your system preferences, into the sound control panel and going back to the internal speakers as your output or whatever output you were using prior to your screen recording. So that's how you create screen recordings on your Mac with audio. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you wanna learn how to do screen recordings on your phone, I've also created a video on how to do that and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible.